special session came in with a roar but ended with a whimper. It ended without a resolution on several issues the governor deemed as key issues. The bathroom bill was at the front of that list. Channel 2's Phil Archer is live tonight in downtown Houston with more on this. Phil. Well, you may remember Governor Abbott laid out 20 priority issues he wanted passed, but only seven of them made it through the special session. The governor is blaming the House and its leader, Joe Strauss, for that, and he's leaving the door open for another special session. This one ended abruptly Tuesday evening when the House recessed without passing the governor's top issue, property tax reform. The most controversial issue, the bathroom bill, never came out of a House committee. Eleven other bills, mostly red meat issues for Republican conservatives, also failed to pass. Governor Abbott and Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick blamed the more moderate Texas House and its leader, Speaker Joe Strauss. But when you have a speaker who is twisting arms for people not to vote or sign on a bill. Most of the bills weren't even referred. But Democratic House member Gene Wu says on major issues, the Senate simply wouldn't compromise. And I think they kind of forget sometimes there's, you know, there's two bodies here. There's two legislative bodies at work. And, you know, you can't just say I'm the boss and I'm running the show. University of Houston political scientist Brandon Roddinghouse says Abbott took a political risk by calling the special session and raising expectations with his base. He didn't get the big wins he wanted. He didn't get the home runs he wanted. He hit a string of singles, which is pretty good if you're a ball player. But if you're somebody who's in the position where the governor is and needs to be able to get more Republican power behind his legislative agenda, he's got to get that number up. Governor Abbott hasn't ruled out calling another special session, and he may be forced to by a recent court ruling that requires the boundaries of two congressional districts be redrawn. So he could, if he was going to take a risky position and to try to force the legislature to bow to his will, put on some of those issues that didn't pass this go around. Many of the issues that failed this time also failed earlier during the regular session. And at this point, it's not clear how supporters feel they could be successful if there's a third time. Reporting live downtown, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.